Hi, welcome to What's Happening. Here are the top five stories. At number five, bandits have killed two people and kidnapped several others in an attack on some travelers in Zamkara State. The attack was said to have occurred in the Jibia Axis, linking Katsina and Zamfara states. The bandits, who sources said were up to 50, reportedly opened fire on moving vehicles, forcing them to stop. A resident, Jamil Lugambo, whose father-in-law was killed during the attack, told newsmen on Tuesday that the dead had been buried and that all the other travelers were abducted by the bandits. He added that the bandits have not made any contact to demand ransom for the kidnapped victims. At number four, the prices of food items rose the most in Lagos, Enugu, and Kogi states in the month of July. This was contained in the Consumer Price Index report of the National Bureau of Statistics released on Tuesday. The report revealed that in July 2021, food inflation was highest in Kogi at 28.51%, Enugu at 24.57%, and Lagos at 24.04%. Aquaibom followed with 17.85%, Bauchi at 17.74% and Abuja at 16.67%. According to the report, the composite food index rose by 21.03% in July 2021, compared to 21.83% in June 2021. At number three, the police in Adamawa state says it busted a syndicate of notorious kidnappers in the state where 14 suspects were arrested. The spokesperson of the police command, DSP Suleiman Ngroje, disclosed this in a statement on Tuesday in Yola. Ngroje said the raid followed credible information and reliable sources and that the suspects were arrested at their various hideouts. The statement revealed 19 cell phones with 22 SIM cards were recovered from them. The police added that during interrogation, all the suspects confessed to kidnapping one Alaji Sali Idi of Farang in 4th Rail local government area and Yao Adamu of Ganye town in Ganye local government area. At number two, Uganda has announced plans to take in more than 2,000 refugees from the troubled Afghanistan. Uganda's Minister of State for Relief, Disaster Preparedness and Refugees, Esther Anyakun, said on Tuesday that at least 500 refugees fleeing Afghanistan were scheduled to arrive in Kampala on Tuesday night. Hundreds of Afghans are fleeing the country after the Taliban forces entered the capital of Kabul and took control of the presidential palace on Sunday. According to the UN Refugee Agency, this will not be the first time Uganda is hosting refugees from outside Africa. The country received 7,000 Polish refugees during the World War II. At number one, the Nigerian government has pledged to help reform the police structure in Sierra Leone. The Minister of Police Affairs, Mohamed Dinyadi, made the pledge during a courtesy visit by a delegation from Sierra Leone on Tuesday in Abuja, led by Sierra Leonean Internal Affairs Minister David Panda Noah. Dinyadi said Nigeria and Sierra Leone have diplomatic relations that date back to the slave trade era and that it was time for both countries to remain committed to one another. He said the Nigeria police force would be ready at all times to admit police officers from Sierra Leone who would be ready for training at junior, middle and senior level into the training colleges. Always remember to wear your mask, wash your hands and stay safe. That's all for now. See you next time on What's Happening.